Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to obtain the apical views. The apical views are obtained from the apical window. The patient has to be in the left lateral decubitus position with the left arm next to the head. To obtain any apical views, first you have to place the transducer in the fifth left intercostal space at median axillary line. Normally, start with the index marker pointing to the couch. Then, from this position, we have to slowly rotate the transducer counterclockwise to obtain the different apical views. The first view I'm going to show you is the apical for chamber view. To obtain this view, first you have to place the transducer in the fifth left intercostal space at median axillary line. The index marker should be pointing the couch and just by doing this, you should be able to obtain the apical for chamber view. Next is the apical 5 chamber view. To obtain this view, you have to find the apical 4 chamber view first. Once you have your apical 4 chamber view, you are going to angulate the probe inferiorly. With these two steps, you are going to be able to get your apical 5 chamber view. Remember that the index marker should be still pointing the couch. In this video, I'm showing you how to switch from the apical 4 chamber view to the apical 5 chamber view. You just have to angulate the probe inferiorly to change from 4 chamber view to 5 chamber view. Now the apical 2 chamber view. To obtain this view, you have to find your apical 4 chamber view first. Now, from your apical 4 chamber view, you have to rotate the probe counterclockwise between 60 and 90 degrees. The index marker is going to be pointing somewhere between the median axillary line and the clavicle. And the last one is the apical tree chamber view. You can use two techniques to obtain this view. Either you find your four chamber view first and rotate the probe counterclockwise until the index marker is pointing the patient's right shoulder, or find your apical to chamber view and rotate the probe counterclockwise between 30 and 60 degrees, and the index marker has to be pointing the patient's right shoulder. Either way, you can obtain the apical tree chamber view. In this video, I'm demonstrating how to obtain the different apical views. Just rotate the probe counterclockwise to obtain the different cuts. I'm starting here from the four chamber view. I'm rotating now to obtain the two chamber view. And finally, keep rotating to obtain the three chamber view. And that's how you obtain the apical views. Normally, we always start by finding the apical four chamber view, and from that point, we rotate the probe counterclockwise to obtain the rest of the views. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!